Sim the world here. We are back with Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. We're going to keep chugging through. We got some more orders in the shop that should keep us busy today. Of course, we've got the Mercedes Benz 300 SL. And this you should be familiar with. We have done an episode over this. Of course, we have a return customer. And he's got some gearbox issues that should be quick to take care of, some easy money. If you're trying to gain levels and grind through the game, transmission jobs, gearbox jobs, and of course, exhaust jobs are your friends. Go through, grab those as soon as they come up. You'll quickly get up to level 30 and unlock your full garage. Over here, we've got a Dodge Ram 3500. This, we, we're going to be doing some uh, basic maintenance. We're replacing the oil, we're changing the filters, and we're taking a look at the suspension. I feel like this job in particular, this is something you typically see come in. You're going to have somebody drive in. You know, in daily life, there's always some suspension issues with your car. It's never in 100% condition. Those parts just wear down so quickly. So you come in with that, you change your filters, your change the oil, get it all done in one slap, and you're on your way. So let's start off here. I want to take care of the gearbox and any transmission issues. And we'll collect that money really quick. So we'll start by taking the drive shaft off. And the starter, we got to go in through the engine bay. That is a little annoying. Sometimes I prefer that to be just a bit quicker. I feel like, I, you know, I'm a tall guy in real life. I could reach up there and get a wrench on that starter. I don't need to lower this engine. Just like I don't need to uh, close the hood before that goes through the roof of the ceiling. Oh, look at that. It's tall enough. Guess it's got to fit this uh, 3500 too. This is a deceivingly big garage. There is a second story that we can go up off to the side above the office. Of course, when you get the full garage unlocked, that's where you get that area. But if you, it, I'll link the episode where we did the 300 SL. This engine is a lot of fun to build with. I encourage you guys, if you're playing through, even if you're waiting for our mechanic simulator 2021, my advice is if you don't have the DLCs, pick those up now. Even on release of the new game, I'm not expecting it to be 100% quite yet. Typically when they release these games, it takes some time to get everything in place to get it to having, you know, the Rim DLC came out on Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Well after release, it was like the third DLC they put in the game. Uh, same with customizing the garage. That didn't come for almost a year later. So there's a lot of stuff that, of course, it took time to implement. And that's okay. I'm, I'm fine with waiting. I'm fine with, you know, incremental updates to a game. That makes it a lot more fun. But that just means... You know, sometimes it's worth taking your time jumping into a new game to make sure that everything is there when you want it. So this is a great opportunity to really, you know, fall back in love with the series by jumping into the old title. With all that said, we're going to come over here to the 3500. There's a lot of running gear we need to take a look at and replace. I'm going to start off with the front end here. Because I know the sway bar needs replaced. Nothing should be wrong with the brakes. The steering rack needs replaced too, so we're going to take that out now. And it's this side. Let me get this tire off. The camera angles are so typical to play around with sometimes. This side is where all the work is going to take place. Almost everything over here needs to be taken out. Not sure about the bushings. Yeah, the bushings over here too need to go. I just assumed the front drive axles gonzo. Let's get go ahead and get the wheel hub bearing out. Brakes have to at least come off. We're gonna put them back on. 
because we need to replace the front wheel hub and the knuckle over here. I will have to, we'll have to press a spring in place before we can get this loaded in. So we're going to do that momentarily. Let me go jump out of here. I believe, what did I say? We got to drain the oil. No more charges. Last episode, they charged me $100 because some oil hit the floor. This is my garage. That shouldn't matter. I'll grab a mop and take care of that later. Charge me money for spilling oil in a car mechanic shop. You know how much fluids hit the floor in this garage? This place is meant to be messy. Uh, that's how it goes, but... Let's go through here. Let's get everything back in place. I think I should have most of the parts. He can keep his old parts on this side. They're all in pretty good shape anyhow. Not too worn apart. We'll also be able to take off that oil filter. We're going to replace that. And I think we got some work on the rear end, but that shouldn't take long either. Go ahead. I think the bushings over here are fine. Zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to pop this one out just to check. Uh, I might just replace these to be on the safe side. It just seemed like everything on this side of, you know, the front driver's side of the vehicle needed a lot of parts replaced. So I'm just going to try to replace everything we can with 100%. Especially these bushings. Worst thing to happen would be to miss a bushing and we'd have to come back in and redo some of this work. And bushings are cheap. It's not worth trying to reuse those, at least in my mind. Of course, what I'd love to see in the new game is more emphasis on the economy in the game, to where, you know, Saving these parts, repairing what you can, does make a difference. By going through the story order, we we were sitting on a million dollars. It didn't take long whatsoever. Money in this game, you really don't have any expense, because anything you replace, you get money back for. The only way you lose money in this game is if you're building a bunch of your own custom cars. And of course, that is fun. That is like a good half of this game. I also think it's worth um, being able. I want the experience of running a car garage as well. I don't know about you guys. Let me know what you think about that. I know at least for me, I'd like to have that experience. You know, maybe we have to do a couple more orders to earn some money to pay for the rent on the garage that day. Things like that. Uh, new tools or repairing tools, things start to wear out. Upgrading the tire changer, the balancer, so it goes quickly. These are all ways of introducing expenses into the game, which keep you playing and keep you taking these story orders. Because at least for me, once I hit level 30, once you unlock this full garage, in my normal playthrough, I actually don't think I really take any other orders. It's not something I need to do. Let's see. Okay, I want to make sure I got all the bushings back in. I think we're good to go. Me. Got to do that manifold, and the oil filter goes in. Should be it for the suspension. Uh, hopefully there's nothing sneaky in the back. But we'll do the manifold here and we'll be well on our way. Oh, we got to do the filters too. Couldn't forget those. I'll, I'll take care of the air filter as well. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on the economy in the game. I feel like with simulators, that typically is something of importance. It's important to have something realistic, something to spend money on. 
There's the air filter. I'm I'm blind today. But yeah, that's hopefully we'll see something along those lines. But until that time, at least we got these DLCs in 2018. This will keep us rolling for quite a bit longer. And it's incredible just the depths that they have in each engine. I hope when they introduce the DLCs for Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 that they're not just uh, doing a refresh of this, but instead they're... They make these new, they add a lot to it. Like, if they just port these over, I'm going to be a little disappointed, especially if I have to pay for them again just for a port. <laughs> but they should be... At the very least, they'll have to add uh, the functionality to drain and fill the brake servo. You'll have coolant reservoirs, power steering reservoir, especially for this. So they do have a lot of work ahead of them, even to just update these models. And at least from the looks of the game, it's it really looks good. So they're going to have to update these cars anyhow. I think there's something we're missing. Loud when it's accelerating. Oh, I forget the rear muffler. That's an easy fix. Yeah, I certainly did. That's silly me. Well, that does take care of this order as well. Another happy customer, another... Car is pretty rusty. I like the rust outline. This is exactly where it would start as your car is beginning to age. But let's take a look here. We're ready to finish $10,000 in our pocket. I think this is where we're going to wrap up this episode. So let me know if you want to see any of the DLC cars featured in future episodes. We're going to keep running through these, um, trying to get a good idea of what's in them, the full build, teardown. I kind of like looking at the engine designs and how intricate they go. Hopefully you enjoy that too. But with that, thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates to future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch as I'll occasionally stream live. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at In the World.